بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از حریم حسن آئی ہیو بین اسٹیمڈ ود دس گولڈن اپرچونیٹی ٹو گلوریفائی دا موسٹ ڈائنامک ایسپیکٹ ان دا ہسٹری آف پاکستان سکس آف سپٹمبر اے ڈے ورتھی آف گریٹ ریمبرنس آلسو نون ایز ڈیفینس ڈے لیٹ اس ٹیک اے بریک فرام آر بزی لائف اینڈ ری وزٹ ہسٹری ان آرڈر ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ اینڈ ویلیو مور the sacrifices and price paid by our forefathers for today's peace. War of 1965 The burning desire of India to take down Pakistan started a couple of years before 1965. when every action taken by the Indian government resulted in its defeat, such as the war with China in 1962. In a feeble attempt to remove this stain of failure, India tried to occupy the disputed border territory of the run of Kutch on the Sindh border. Fortunately, Pakistan was able to forcefully settle this dispute in its favour, which left the Indians boiling with anger. By this time, Indians, completely intoxicated and blinded by their rage and need for power, started a war against Pakistan on the issue of occupied Kashmir. Pakistan was attacked on the night of 6th September 1965 when India committed an open aggression on the international border of Punjab. Even though Pakistan had very less military and economic resources to fund the war, the armed forces filled with the spirit of jihad in their hearts and with the burning flame of their faith went forward to destroy an enemy many times bigger than itself. The air forces of both the nations were also involved in intense fighting in the regions of Punjab and Kashmir. Our brave Air Commodore Muhammad Mahmood Alam downed five Indian aircrafts in just one minute. Our Navy also shares an equal part in the war. To relieve the pressure on the southern front, Pakistan decided to send its Navy to launch a strike on the Indian coast. The war finally came to an end after 17 days. Pakistan inflicted heavy losses on the aggressor and emerged victorious. The defence of the Pakistani armed forces was commendable to say the least. Surprised as they were, they did their best to not let this war affect the general public. Many courageous army, air force and navy officers lost their lives to protect their dear motherland. Their bravery and dedication remains unforgettable to this day. Ye hai tumhare naam. Is mitti ke liye behte lahu ke naam. میرے دل میں بسے جان سے پیارے پاکستان کے نام وفا کی تصویر
Pakistan armed forces never let any struggle any sacrifice go in vain Those who display their complete devotion to their work their homeland are recognized and awarded duly Nishane Haider The highest level of military award in Pakistan This award is presented to those who display the highest acts of bravery in the face of the enemy of the nation Major Raja Aziz Bhatti was awarded with Nishane Haider for the war of 1965 for his commendable sacrifice for his homeland. During the war of 65, Major Aziz Bhatti was deployed in the forward positions. He forced the Indian army into hand-to-hand -hand combat and hence altered their course of action. Major Aziz was offered to see his family during these times to which he refused and said I don't want to go back I will shed the last drop of my blood in defense of my dear homeland He was 37 years at the time of his death It has always been the fearless and the valiant soldiers of Pakistan whose services to the nation are a remarkable examples for generations to come Apart from Nishane Haider, we have more awards to recognize the services of the army personnel at every level. The top 5 military awards are as follows. Nishane Haider, Sign of the Lion. Hilale Jurrat, Crescent of Courage. Sitare Jurrat, Star of Courage. Tamgha Jurrat, Medal of Courage. An Imtiazi Sanad mention in dispatches. The history of Pakistan is full of immaculate examples of perseverance, determination, hard work, courage and bravery. Here are a few notable brave soldiers who have defended their homeland to the very best of their abilities. Remembering 6th September 6th September or Defence Day is observed in Pakistan to commemorate the sacrifices of our armed forces in the defence of their homeland. The armed forces of Pakistan displays its latest missiles, tanks, guns, army aviation including helicopter and fighter planes. 
The public of Pakistan can watch these parades at the parade ground or through live coverage on media. National songs are played and stories of bravery and courage of the martyrs are told to today's youth to inculcate a sense of deep patriotism. In addition, the change of guard ceremony takes place where the armed force cadets present the guard of honor and take charge. Our history is rich in valuable lessons for us. We've heard many tales from our elders and often find them saddened when they are made to recall the events of the past. The young generation often takes it for granted because in today's time we couldn't even imagine a war breakout, let alone the far-reaching consequences. It is very important to revisit historical events from time to time to understand their value and the sacrifices made by many. The Shaheed of this nation leave behind a legacy of untiring efforts to protect Pakistan. The youth of today has an important task at hand. They are to protect this nation and take it to the heights of success and glory. Whether it's an internal challenge like floods, earthquakes and terrorism, or our external front like border disputes, our brave and courageous forces are fighting on the forefront. It is because of them we sleep peacefully. If the enemy has forgotten the defeat of 1965, they must not have been able to forget the incident of 27th February 2019, where the swift response by our Air Force not only restricted the Indian planes from entering the Pakistani borders, but also shot down the plane of their wing commander, Abhinandan, which crossed the line of control. So thank you, Pakistan Armed Forces. We are proud of you for always doing whatever it takes to fulfill your duty, to honour your commitment and to uphold your oath. Pakistan Zindabad Sabhe